Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial with your boy Salomon from Mirror Studios and today we're going to be looking at Photoshop Beta, that's Photoshop 2024 version 25, yeah. So I, I'm basically on a new document and first things first, we're going to be talking about, um, okay, first uh, let me import an image on the canvas and we're going to be looking at uh, generative fill and what generative fill could actually do like uh, basic things you could do it's the AI prompts that is being added into Photoshop currently and um, yeah I purposely imported the image on a landscape canvas so I could show you what uh, what we could do and now uh, if you'd notice uh, my generative fill is grayed out so first things first we'll have to fix that so i'm going to you know connect to the internet and if you notice we could actually not we can't use the generative fill for now so uh i would uh if if you have this problem what you could do it would be uh you know just move around uh turn on your know, connect to wi-fi or something connect your computer to your internet and uh yeah uh one of the few things uh, the first thing you would actually want to check out would be to uh, close your photoshop yeah you could actually close and restart with your computer connected to the internet and see if that works sometimes that would actually fix it so uh, i think we should we should actually try that and see uh, what the outcome would be yeah and be sure to be sure to refresh your desktop before you know reopening the photoshop and yeah we have it opened and try to you know let's open up the image again and let's see does it have any difference sorry uh, this time around i'm just going to stretch out the stretch out the image manually yeah well if you'd notice uh okay let me select the image and invert selection from tax bar but you'd notice that uh the generative fill prompt is still grayed out so we basically can't do anything uh you could just use the normal content aware fill uh, that doesn't require internet connection of course so that that works anytime okay so just give it some time and yeah let's wait for photoshop to do its thing Yeah, so you can see that it actually does a pretty decent job as um, the content aware feel. But you would kind of be limited. Yeah, okay, you see that prompt already comes up, uh, the generative feel. So let's try it and let's see what, what happens. now uh you'd see nothing happened and yeah uh that hasn't fixed it so let's fix it uh the first thing we want to do actually be to make sure you are signed in okay so let's head over to uh help and it's sign in you need to uh sign in so i just realized that my network actually went off so i'm going to connect back and uh try again let's sign in you sign into your account okay so i have creative cloud account so just let, let it do sting connect and yeah i'd sign in and just follow the prompts, you know, just sign in. 
I had already signed in previously, so I'm just going to sign in on my Google account. Yeah, so once that is done, yeah, you could see that generative fill is now active. Yeah, so it's as simple as that to fix, you know, fix the grid out generative fill prompt. Yeah, so let's try let's let's try what generative fill. Let's see what generative fill could actually do to our image. So uh, I have inverted the selection, uh, selecting the other parts of the background, and let's rekey that in and uh, see what generative field could do. All right, uh, let's give it a moment. Now, the beautiful thing about generative field is that it actually gives you three different results to select from, which is really epic for me, you know, really epic in my own view. So you get to actually choose, you have three options, you choose which suits you best all right so after hitting the generate button you give it some time to you know just look through and get those images generate the images that fit your prompt and it gives you you know the options okay so this is the first you see yeah it's done it's done getting those uh images so this is what it looks like the first and uh as you see the dark bouquet background which actually looks pretty nice all right so this is the second and i think this this is this is nice for me as well this this looks really nice it looks really convincing and the third i think for me this is basically going to be the best yeah this is the best so yeah let's see what that does yeah you could actually select any portion of the image and you know type in whatever you want and let it generate now this is a very powerful tool because photo manipulation at this point is becoming really really easy like really really easy you know with ai it's going to be bridging a whole lot a whole lot now saving you time and you could see that from that it matches the the lighting okay let's add a futuristic dark futuristic sunglass or dark sunglass futuristic sunglass yeah i can see that it actually matches the lighting in the photograph as well which is really great now because you don't have to do that yourself and it does a pretty decent job yeah really decent job so you see how that looks yeah some sci-fi looking glasses and you know <laughs> yeah this kind of looks like a sticker but it's it, it looks it looks really really nice it looks really nice let's see what dark sunglasses just brings up and uh wait for it to do those thing generate the images and yeah you see you see that no nah, i think this this actually looks nice uh, uh second i think yeah this this looks this looks nice that looks nice now this is another image so let's try the same thing um, on on that uh uh futuristic sunglasses i i, I don't know i have this vibe for sci-fi stuff right now so Let's just see how that comes up. Okay, let it generate the images, run through, and give it a few seconds, depending on your internet and uh, the speed of your computer. To process that, and let's see. Oh, okay. Now this kind of looks like a sticker. No, no, this doesn't really work. This doesn't really look. Oh, okay. This, this is, this is great. This is great. This, uh, this is actually great for me. You know. And you could just let's try out the same thing uh expanding the image and let's see let's see what what uh we could do with generative fill all right so you know just give it some time Just give it some time and in a few more seconds should be returning 
the images and yeah okay that's done so you see uh yeah it actually does a pretty decent job even though you'd actually notice that uh the image was really cropped in so we don't necessarily have so much of information but it still does a great job like this is second this it actually does a very great job as um figuring out what to include in the image yeah and uh, i think there's one more let's see how that looks let's see how that looks see that now you notice there are little imperfections which you could actually just zoom in and fix on your own but yeah you, you could actually fix those imperfections easily just easily yeah so basically that's it see you guys in the next video ciao ciao